Microsoft launched Surface just four years ago, and it's only grown the brand in that time. The company's new Surface Studio is evidence of its growing design expertise and a technical achievement by any measure. One look at the studio is all you need to tell it's a bit different. The old school 3-2 aspect ratio is strange by modern standards and there's nothing like it in the studio's 28 inch size, but it makes sense. It provides a better usable workspace for drawing, design, and even document editing. And the display looks gorgeous whatever you're doing. In our testing, we found it can hit 100% of the sRGB spectrum, and it turned in the fourth most accurate color we've ever seen. Better still, the display lacks any clear weak spot. It's pretty much great in every area, including pixel density. Apple's iMac with Retina and Dell's 5K Ultra Sharp Monitor are the only PC displays that cram in more pixels per inch. While the screen looks great, the hinge it's attached to is equally important. Microsoft engineers call it the Zero Gravity Hinge, and uh, it pretty much works like it sounds. The display can easily be lifted or lowered with a thumb and forefinger, yet it stays in place once adjusted, even if you use the pen to draw on the display. Now this isn't a minor point, the hinge makes it possible to use the studio just like you would a drafting table. The studio comes with a lot of peripherals. That includes the pin, but not the dial, which is a $100 add-on, though it is free if you pre-order. The dial is Microsoft's attempt to enhance the tactile experience of drawing, designing, or editing on a PC, and it's a nice piece of hardware. You can use it to select color in a drawing app or to warp forwards and back through a video editing timeline. But it's not perfect. App support is a bit thin at this moment, and the dial itself can become a chore to keep track of. Now, design is clearly the focus of the studio, but the hardware is nothing to laugh at. It has an Intel quad-core desktop chip paired with either GTX 965M or, as in our review unit, GTX 980M graphics. This produced excellent results across the board on par with many full tower desktops we've tested this year. Now, we were a bit disappointed to see Microsoft pick a slower hybrid mechanical SSD storage solution instead of a full SSD, but we didn't find it a burden in normal use. In fact, in everyday tasks, the studio is among the quickest PCs we've ever tested. At $3,000 to start, and 4,200 as reviewed, the studio is not a computer everyone can afford. It's not meant to be. The focus clearly is on creative professionals who are used to spending thousands on large Wacom tablets. For them, the studio may prove a revolution. For everyone else, the studio will be an object of desire. Necessary? Nah, but be careful. If you spend five minutes with the studio, you're going to want one.